Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your PC. Now, there's two different ways that you can connect. The first way is with a USB cable, which is very simple. Now, to connect your controller with a USB to your computer, plug it into one of the front USB slots or the rear USB slots and plug the other end into your controller. And you'll notice when you connect it to the PC that there will be a solid blue color or it might be like blinking orange indicating it's charging. Now, the second way you can do this is with Bluetooth. Now you'll want to put your controller into the Bluetooth pairing mode by pressing down the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time. When you hold both these down, you'll notice that the light bar on the controller will begin to blink, indicating it's searching for a device to connect to. Now, let's go back to our computer and then go to the Bluetooth options. Now go down to the Windows Start button and then select Settings under here. When this window opens up, go to Bluetooth and Devices. Then go to the right and go to Bluetooth and make sure this is turned on. Sometimes I do have an error where I need to restart my computer before Bluetooth will actually work. So you can try that. Otherwise, go to where it says devices, add a device, go to Bluetooth, and this will allow you to pair a controller right here. Now let's select this, add a device. Put your controller into the Bluetooth pairing mode by holding down the share button and the PlayStation button, and it should show up under this list. And here's my wireless controller input. Let's select this. Now it's connecting to my computer and it's connected. Now I can open up Steam and then go to the big picture mode. So my wireless controller is now working in Steam and I can go on down to settings right here and then look through this and go to controller. Change the settings specifically for my controller in Steam. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six tech.